What's up everybody? It's the Common Sense Investor coming at you with another video. This video we're going to talk about the reverse stock split and what CSI believes. Because I'm seeing a couple of other videos out there that are saying, well CSI said this and CSI said that. So I'm going to set the record straight and tell y'all exactly what I believe about this reverse stock split and as a bonus I'm going to be telling y'all what I'm doing about what I believe. So stick around to the end. Let's check out today's price action note for AMC. <sighs> I talked about this the other day. Listen, people, if it, if it helps you to believe in this arbitrage, then wonderful. All right, but do you see today's price action with a very sluggish beginning? First 10 minutes, we were red. Then we turned around, we went green for the next 20. Seesaw the rest of the day with an average of 18 cents up before we closed and then after hours we were pushed right back down almost where we started to 430 and we have stair stepped it up to 434 which is where we'll start tomorrow morning people told y'all this the other night they set this price now if you had if you went and sold your amc and went ape heavy believing in an arbitrage that's because you didn't also take into consideration they set the price where they want it, when they want it, however they want to do it. And we seem to lose the, that fact somewhere in our anal, analyzing of the stock. All right? But whatever we gain, they take right back away from us. So if it helps you to believe in an arbitrage where APE is supposed to run up and AMC is supposed to come down, and that's the arbitrage, and it's going to be because people got buying pressure and selling pressure and bullshit. It's algorithmic trading. It always has been, and it's going to always be. Simple as that. Now, something I want to bring your attention to that's just not right about this. Look at the volume for the day. 23.29 million for AMC. All right, and Ape is 11.83 million. Now, people, <laughs> that's not the volume of a preferred share that people believe or about to convert. Okay, now this should be 110 million shares of eight being bought because institutions should be scooping them up right now in anticipation of the reverse stock split and the conversion all right so why are they not buying up the shares that's the question i'm telling you what i believe i believe they are slowly selling off all of their ape and they're selling them to retail and they're trapping you in this play again. It's the only thing that makes sense. There's no reason why institutions should not be scooping up ape like it's fucking crazy, people. Because it's a, nothing more than an AMC locate. And as soon as this is over with, they would be able to have all them AMC shares. But they're not doing it. So something's wrong. All right. Now let's talk about this reverse stock split and what the CSI believe. Now, you see this slide? This slide is going to tell you a lot, people. This tells us that there are 929,849,612 ape shares out there. All right? And one day, they want to become AMC shares, but they can't right now. We have a cap on our shares. The float is completely out there, 525 million shares. So, Adam Aaron cannot give Ape shares an AMC share until the AMC float comes down. Now, their plan is to drop the float of AMC to, from 525 million to 52 million. And then they want to do a reverse stock split of Ape and bring it down from 929 million to 92 million. And then raise the float to 550 million and then ape will go in and Adam Aaron will still have 400 million apes or AMC to sell onto the open market. Now, 
Let's talk about what's going on and what the hustle is. Because I figured out the hustle and even Cowboy Clown confirmed it to me the other night. Now in this clip, he was talking about mulling and what caused the price of mullin to go up. Okay. And I'm going to share this clip with y'all and it's going to have some similarities to it. Okay. Number one, he's going to start off by talking about retail and management are in a standstill over a reverse stock split and he asked will will the management team override them and be able to get institutions to get involved and overcome retail investors same fight is what i want y'all to understand all right that he's going to be talking about the voting rights will the reverse stock split happen that's going on in mullen all right then he said something very particular that I thought was interesting about the warrants. And I want you to listen, and then I'm going to tell y'all what the hustle has been, all right, and why it's on hold, and why Adam Aaron said, we're not going to take no bonuses this, this quarter. We're going to talk about that in just a moment. Be cool. And hey, let's listen to Cowboy Clown for just a moment. There has been a lot coming at us to think about, right? We got this upcoming vote on August 3rd with the one for 100 reverse split on the voting ticket. Is that going to pass? Are there going to be some of the big shareholders, the big investors that are going to sway this vote and get everything to pass? Or is retail going to carry the day and force Mullen to keep on rescheduling the vote to try and get it to pass? I don't know, we'll find out in a month or so. When the news dropped this morning, I immediately went into the Discord and let my folks know that there could be an opportunity here to capitalize on some upward momentum, but that my general thought was that this was a puff piece press release designed to assist the big money lenders in driving the price up and that they would let the price go up to a certain point. What is that point? Well, I guess we're gonna find out on Thursday and Friday. Now, I know a lot of you think this was shorts covering. I think, in my cynical view, that they allowed the price to run up. Why? Because if we refer to the recent prospectus, there are several sentences in here talking about warrants exercisable for a price of 16 cents per share. In fact, 590 million shares up there highlighted in yellow in the top paragraph. There are another smaller amount of warrants exercisable at 52 cents a share, 18 million. I don't know if we'll get to 52 cents. I got a lot of respect for Cowboy Clown when it comes to financial shit like this. He's right a lot of times. My problem with him is how he doesn't take that same analytical approach to AMC that he does with all the other stocks because what he explained just now is exactly the hustle they're doing and has been doing and I'm fixing to prove it to you right here. Now, everybody's familiar with this chart. It's AMC January 28th, 2021. This is the day what happened. The buy button disappeared. This is the day everybody on YouTube, Trey Trades, Matt Coors, Short the Vix, and everybody else, Thomas James, went to screaming. Oh, they fucked over us and how they took the buy button. And it was nothing but a distraction. I told y'all that's why I started my channel originally was to tell everybody they were lying to us about the buy button and what it meant. That's a whole nother story. Comment down below if y'all need me to tell y'all again on how the buy button was a distraction. All right. What we really should be paying attention to is what happened the day before on the 27th and the 26th. Okay. On January 26th, we closed at around $3 a share. And then the next day, it skyrocketed to $12.50. Okay. Now, the next day, they took the buy button, but we was already in the downward push, okay? And this became the distraction to keep you from seeing what was happening right here on the 27th. So here is what was going on. Here you see the press release, all right? 127, 2021, day before the buy button's taken away. The day that it ran up all the way past $12, all right? This is the day 
they told us that on January 25th, they had put in to sell 50 million shares of the Class A common stock. Okay? Now, that's bad enough to dilute our shares like that. But at the same time, on the same day, this Form 8K was filed January 27th, the day before the buy button was taken away. And what it reports is that on January 27th, 2021, affiliates of Silver Lake Group, LLC, Silver Lake, and certain co-investors, collectively the note holders, okay? You've heard a lot about notes, and that these, this is what we owe people, but and they hold the notes, okay? But these are convertible notes, and on 1, 27, 2021, Silver Lake and the other note holders elected to convert it's all $600 million of the company's 2.95 convertible senior secured notes due 2026 into common Class A shares. Stop. What does that mean? It means they own notes. Think of a note like an ape share. All right, You can one day redeem that ape share, but you have to wait until the float is lowered. Okay, On this day, they converted their notes and it caused this price action in AMC, all right, for the next couple of days. What was going on? Exactly what Tony just got through saying concerning Mullen, all right, that what they were planning on doing was they will let the price run up, convert their notes, or in that case over there, their convertible warrants, okay? And over here, it was their notes. And what they did was they let the price run up, do a little social media thing going on, get a pumped up, or AMC pumped up, and then convert their notes, sell it to retail, and then we're stuck in the play. That's the hustle, people. That's the hustle they've been doing. That's the hustle they're doing now. The problem here is there's AMC's float is maxed out. So the note holders, the convertible note holders, okay, they can't convert their shares. If AMC run up right now to $12, the note holders are stuck. They have to lower the float in order to convert their notes. Also, do you remember Adam Aaron saying about how we're not going to take any compensation or bonuses and blue, 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 blue for this year? Bullshit. You know why? Because they cannot vest themselves shares of AMC. Why? Maxed out. No shares to give them. The only way they can get their bonuses uh, of AMC shares is if we lower the float. And then we know what happens after that. They get their shares. They sell it to the open market. They push it down. And it just it's a repetitive process. But no, the hustle people. The hustle is to drop the float so that the convertible notes, they'll let AMC run up a little bit to where the convertible notes will jump in, convert their notes into new AMC shares, and then push the price back down. That's always been the hustle. So with that, I hope this clears up a lot for y'all. And we're going to talk a little bit more in the next video on the reverse stock split and what it means and what my plans are and what I'm doing right now. But before you go to the next video, click that link. Go check out some of my merchandise that I got up in my Shopify store. Love y'all. Be blessed. And I'll see you in the next video.